Riley here from the book Wimmery over at RileyJFrau.com and today I'm going to be talking all about re-reading books. Now we've all done it haven't we as uh, book lovers we have this massive to be read pile that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and if you're anything like me it really is mahoosive and I keep adding them up quicker than I can read them. We've all done it when we've got this big pile of books to read and yet something that draws us back to our old favourite and we pick up and reread something we've already read. I may have even read two, three, four, five, ten times already but we still go back to it even though there's all these new exciting worlds to discover, all these new books books, these, these potential new friends to, to, to meet, but we go back to our old favourite. Why? Why do we do that? And is it a good thing or a bad thing? Well, enjoyment's definitely got to be uh, a part of it, hasn't it? We go back to them because we enjoy them. And we like that sense of familiarity and that comfort you get. It's a bit like, you know, those really tatty old slippers you've got in your house, you know, like Oh, well, I've got. <laughs> I'm assuming you all have too. That are falling apart, but you just can't bear to throw them out because they represent comfort and home and safety. You know, so you get home from work and you take off your shoes and your feet are aching and you put on your nice old slippers, right? So rereading book is a bit like that. You know, you're going back to what you know, to what you feel safe with. And that familiarity and enjoyment that you get from rereading an old book can actually help pull you out of a reading slump. You know there's times when you just can't get into a book and nothing seems to be very good. That uh, rereading an old favourite can pull you out of that and get you back into the joy of reading. You know what else though? Books change as you change. Or rather, the way you respond to the books and what you get out of them changes as you change and grow. So when you read a book for the first time and then again for the second time, you can get something different out of it. Of course, that's not always a good thing. I mean, I remember reading the book Junk by Melvin Burgess when I was, I don't know, 13 years old. And it was amazing. I loved it. I read it, I don't know, 15, 20 times whilst I was a teenager. I was fascinated by this world that Burgess has created. And then I rediscovered it when I was in my early 30s and decided that actually <laughs> it wasn't for me. There's nothing in it for me anymore other than that sense of nostalgia that I got remembering my teenage years, which is not always a good thing. <laughs> so it's not always a good thing, but you do get different things out of a book when you read it at a different time of your life. And that makes books all the more interesting, doesn't it? In the same sense, um, you can use them to to track your own progress, track your own growth. Patricia Mayer Spax, who wrote the book on rereading, said, The stability of reread books helps to create a solid sense of self. It records both the development and the con continuity of the self. So it can act as that constant by which you can judge yourself and see how you've developed over time. Now that's quite an interesting, interesting concept, isn't it? The other thing that reading or rereading books can do is it can help you understand the complexities and the subtleties of a story. It can help you find all those little things that you missed, you know, all the little things that maybe you didn't get on the first reread because you were enjoying it too much or you were trying to understand the base of the story. And rereading it then gives you a greater understanding and a greater depth with which you can uh, respond to the book. Vladimir Nabokov, I don't know if I pronounced that right, <laughs> said in lectures on literature, when we read a book for the first time, the very process of laboriously moving our eyes from left to right, line after line, page after page, this complicated physical work upon the book, the very process of learning in terms of space and time what the book is about, this stands between us and artistic appreciation. So he's saying that we need to reread a book in order to fully appreciate it because the very act of having to read in the first place kind of takes something away from our understanding and our knowledge. It's an interesting concept. But do we lose something when we reread a book? David Galef, again, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, who wrote Second Thoughts and he, he talks about the gain-loss phenomenon says that there are some things that can only possibly be experienced on the first read, on the, in the first instance of something, in this example, on the first read, and subsequent readings may lose something. Now, of course that's true. I mean, there are some books that we'd all love to experience for the first time. Again, that sense of excitement and joy that, you know, that we get from a first read. But just because we've got that doesn't mean that we've not got anything else. Galef says, 
The standard view is that rereading is an additive process wherein we perceive more and more about a given work until we have in internalised the very words. However, such continual review also dulls certain sensibilities. You know, of course he's right. We miss that, that first buzz you get from re reading an amazing book, such as in a mystery book, you lose the suspense, you lose the twist at the end, you know, the, 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 the whodunit aspect of it but that doesn't mean we lose any everything and actually we can gain some stuff you mean you you know lose appreciation for the writing you don't lose appreciation for the characterization but you may also gain for example in the mystery example the enjoyment in spotting all those clues that you miss and going oh yeah i can see where that was coming from then and you may get uh, you may get to indulge your sort of inner smugness that you know what's going to happen when the characters don't you know so you can get something from it, even if you're losing something. Back to Spax, who wrote on rereading. She said that rereading is a sinful self-indulgence. But you know what I say to that? I say, I don't care. So what if it is? You know, it doesn't matter. Enjoy yourself. Indulge. I mean, of all the ways to self-indulge, rereading a book would probably be one of the least damaging. <laughs> So next time you're looking for a little bit of comfort, a little bit of familiarity, or if you want to reread books before the next series comes out or a film adaptation comes out, next time you want a fix from your favourite author, even if they're not writing any more books, don't look at your to-be-read pile forlornly. Don't make those unread books make you feel guilty. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself and reread your favourites. That's it for today, and I will see you all next month. Bye!